She curbed me in front of her friends. I'm about to go home and cry. Bang, 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 bang. bang. YouTube, it's your boy Lil Mount with another bang, 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 this story time today is going to be about how I approached a chick at the mall, you feel me? I was in my bag. I thought I was looking good. And she, you know what I'm saying? She, she, but she did your boy dirty, man. She did your boy real dirty, you know what I'm saying? She curved me in front of her friends. I thought I was doing something. But there's a twist to this story at the end. So. You know what I'm saying? I um I was it was it was a Saturday, you feel me? You know how. And just to be clear, this story is from like two years ago, alright? You know, two, three years ago. Your boy was in his bag. You know what I'm saying? It was a Saturday. I had just got paid the day before. I was trying to go cop me some shoes. So, you know, I call, I hit my cousins and my boys up. I'm like, you know what? Let's slide through the mall, man. I don't ever go to the mall. I usually order stuff online, you know what I'm saying? I just be chilling. So I was like, I'm going to slide through the mall. And uh, we got fresh, you know what I'm saying? We all met up at the mall and shit. I had just had a haircut. You feel me? I was Like I said, I was in my bag, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your boy was out there looking clean, G. Hey. I was in that mall, fresh. You feel me? Um, Let me stop saying that. Y'all know I ain't got no swag. Let me stop. But, so we, we was walking this shit, and I seen this chick, and I'm just like, all right, bet, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking, she look, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Me and my cousin and my boys, we get something to eat. We went to the mall, got some chip. We was in there at the, uh, the food court in the mall, got some Chick-fil-A. We chilling, sitting down, eating, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, damn, like, shorty keep, you know what I'm saying? The John keep. Keep staring at this. I'm like, bet. My cousin like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, stop being a bitch, nigga. Get your ass up and go talk to him. So me, I ain't know what the hell to say. Y'all know what it is. Like, they just don't be knowing what to say half the time. Especially when the friends around, things be different. So you already know it's going to be awkward. So don't even laugh at me. I know somebody about to laugh at this. So I approach it. I get up. First of all, it took me like 10 minutes to even get the courage. I'm like, man, man, I ain't about to do that shit. Blah, 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 blah. My cousins, they keep manipulating me, talking like, bro, you a bitch. Blah, blah, blah. You ain't, nigga, get your scary ass up going over there. So, boom. I, I finally get up. I go over there. I approach them there at the table. It's about five of them. Instantly, I knew I was wrong. So, shit, they knew what they was doing. I think they planned to goddamn make a nigga feel stupid and shit. But it was all good and Gucci. So I approached the table. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? What's up? My name Lamont. How y'all doing? I, I I say what's up to everybody. You know what I'm saying? You got to make everybody feel cool. And then shoot for the one you want. You know what I'm saying? I was out there like Curry. Except this time I was the Curry when he missed the game winning shot. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Wooty woo. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? I think you... You know, cute or whatever, can I get your number? So we can talk. Boom! Table started laughing instantly. I'm like, sheesh! Nigga, heart dropped and shit. Nigga felt like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I got the first lineup today too, y'all. And don't be laughing at my um my big ass forehead either. I know I look like Stephen A. Smith half the damn time, but it's all Gucci. So Back to what I was saying. So the all everybody at the table like, damn, bro, your boy got carried hard. You feel me? So she like, nah, I'm good. Like that's her exact words. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm like, damn. Like, bet, all right, cool. I ain't even tripping on it. Like, nigga felt embarrassed and shit. But I'm like, damn, yo, like, she curved me. So 
That wasn't even the really embarrassing part. The bad part when I get back to the table with my boys, my cousins, them niggas clown me, G. I'm telling you, clown me to the T. From that point on, about it. all the way to the idea of time, we walked around the mall, I caught my shoes, and we left. Niggas clown me. They're like, bro, you look stupid, da 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 bang. All that shit. So... I ain't even tripping on it, bro. I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I took my shot. I had the balls to do it. You feel me? Even though they talked me into it. They knew what it was. It is what it is. That's why, this is why we don't like talking to girls in front of their friends. Niggas be DMing, shooting their shot, or mugs be, you know what I'm saying, waiting till a female alone. Because in front of their friends, all you, da da. And when, dudes, when you with your friends, all you hear is, Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So it's better when you're alone. You can slide in the DMs or... I don't know. Traditional way females say they'd rather have a dude approach them. It's more gentleman-like and it's more... Yeah, whatever the case y'all want to say. But, you know what I'm saying? I got curved. I wasn't even going to start. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I wasn't embarrassed or that shit ain't... You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't look stupid. But I was... Hey, I got curved. It is what it is. I'm like, see, I shoot my shot with somebody else later on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I shoot 30 shots. One of them mothers gonna go in. You feel me? And if they say every shot, every shot you don't take, you miss. Ah, I don't even care. But the twist to the story was, you know what I'm saying? Like, this this shit that killed me, guy. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I was embarrassed. I was like, damn, nigga, nigga was about to go home and cry and everything. You feel me? I done got curved at the mall. I'm about to go home and cry. Uh, I just got curved by fine ass chick. I ain't gonna lie, she was a solid seven. I got curved by a solid seven, and I'm about to go home and cry. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't want no tens and shit. Them tens, that's too much. Got curved by a little, you know what I'm saying? She was beautiful. I ain't gonna stunt. Nigga ain't gonna sit here and downgrade the chicken since she was ugly and nothing like that because she curving. Hell nah, she was cute. I was trying to holler and make her mine. But she curved me and nigga moved on. You feel me? I felt embarrassed for about an hour. After I kept walking, got my shoes, blah, 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 it is what it is. Headed back to the crib, bro. Guys, this the shit that get me. This is how you know friends be encouraging and all do this and blah, blah, blah and all that. So I head back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? I'm back at the house. I hop on 2K. I'm playing the game and all that. You feel me? By the way, I got PS4. Uh, my PSC ain't this. Dread Hill Lamont. I used to have dreads. Y'all didn't know. But um, I'm back at the crib now. And, you know, I get a notification on my phone. This shit is the crazy part, guys. This the shit that get me with you females. She curved me in front of her friends. I get back to the crib. I get a notification on Instagram for a follow request. At this time, my page was private. I get a follow request. I'm like, man, okay, who is this? I'm not going to put her out there like that. I accept the follow request. Instantly get a DM. The DM is from the chick from the mall, guys. It's the chick from the mall. Hey. Here's my number. We should text. Bruh. Are you freaking kidding me? After you just curved me at the mall, and I felt like a piece of shit for the last hour, you gonna hit me in my DMs? What kind of BS is this? You gonna hit me in my DMs after you just curved me an hour ago. An hour or two ago. You gonna hit me in my DMs and say, T I think we should take blah. Nigga, what? Y'all females are something else. I'm telling you, you are something else. Bruh. Y'all already know I had to get disrespectful. I'm like, wait, what? So I... I my words were. So I, I DM her back. I'm like, damn, so it's like that? You just curved me not too long ago. Now you want me to text you? Nah, I'm good. My smile's that. Nah, I'm good. Unfollowed her. You feel me? Nigga, I wasn't trying to be petty or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? 
But it was just like, bro, like, what, what's the deal? You know, how you going to curve me and then DM me? You know what I'm saying? That was the case, like, mom, you should just gave me your number back at the mall. Like, you ain't have to make a new feel like that. Just because your friends was around, you feel me? I already knew what the influence was. After that, I was just like, bet. Like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll shoot my shot with somebody else another day. You feel me? Like, hey. You feel, I, that's crazy, but how you going to curve me? Then DM me not too much long later. That's crazy. But that's the end of the story, guys. It's your boy, Lamont. Did it. You know what I'm saying? Follow my social medias at Lamont Did It on Instagram and Twitter. Hey, it's your boy Lamont did it back with another bang 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 banger. You already know what it is. Hey, smash that like button. Smack the heck out of that subscribe button. Comment down below what y'all want to make a video about next. I'm back with another story. Thomas, your boy Lamont did it. Checking out. Hey, family.